Hello guys, welcome once again to my channel. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your Flutter project on Windows. Now, well, as you know, Flutter project can be run on browser, it can be run on Android devices, iOS or Linux machine. Also, you can run it on Windows machine. So, for running it on Windows machine, you need to install something extra. So, I will be showing you that part in this video. So, guys, here you can see I have uh, started my Android Studio. And here I am running my Flutter project on browser. So it is running properly. But when I try to run this on my windows. So guys uh, my project is running properly on browser. But let me just show you if I run it on windows. Then what problem it gives me. So here I am just selecting windows. And I am clicking on this play button. And guys you can see I am getting this error. So here it is showing me this message. That is unable to find suitable visual studio tool chain please run the flutter doctor for more details so this is the error which um, is shown over here so i'll just go to my command prompt and i'm going to run flutter doctor over there so guys i've just started my command prompt and here i'm typing flutter doctor and you can see it's showing me this message over here issues found so here one issue found it is showing so what is the issue? You can see this cross line. Visual Studio is missing necessary component. So please rerun the Visual Studio install. It is asking me to install Visual Studio. And Visual Studio we have to install for C++. We will be installing Visual Studio for C++ development. So now guys let's go to the browser and here we will search for Visual Studio. Guys, now I will be starting my browser and there I will be searching Visual Studio download. This is not VS code, not Visual Studio code. It is Microsoft Visual Studio. So, I am just searching Visual Studio download. So, guys, you can see it is showing me the official website of Microsoft. So, I will be taking this option, Visual Studio. And it is showing me Visual Studio 2022 downloads. So here we have different types of downloads available, community, professional and enterprises. So we want to install the community version. So I am just clicking on this free download. And herein guys you can see at the top the download is started and it's done. The file is in hardly MB. So it's done guys. Now let's uh, uh, run this installer. So I am just clicking on this installer. Let me minimize my browser guys. So guys it is asking me permission so I am going to just click on yes button. Now here we have to click on continue button. Ok guys now it is showing me this screen. Here you can see different downloads are available. We want to install uh, for C++ development. So we will be going to this desktop and mobile option. And here you can see we have the option for C++ development. Ok so here we will be taking this option development with C++ and just click on this install button. So guys it will take a time. It will. So guys now here the installation of uh, C++ development has been started and it will take time guys. So please wait for it. Ok guys so you can see the installation is completed here. It is starting Visual Studio and here it is showing sign into Visual Studio. So we are not going to sign in. So, I am just selecting this skip option. Now, on this screen, it is showing me development settings. So, what language and what theme you want. So, I am just clicking on this cross button and here it is asking me to uh, create the project. So, I don't want to create project here in Visual Studio because project I have already created in Android Studio. I will be running on this Visual Studio. So, I am closing this everything related to Visual Studio. And then I will go again to my command prompt and I am going to simply type flutter doctor. And here in guys you can see now it is showing me no issues found. Previously it was showing me issues in one category. Ok so that means um, the installation of my visual studio is done. Now I will come back again to my android studio. And from this option I am selecting windows and I am going to click on this play button. And now guys you can see my output. I am getting my output on this screen. This is a window of uh, this Visual Studio. So I am able to run my program on Windows. So whatever is the code 
on getting that output so the default code of flutter is what there will be a push button and if you click on that it is going to increment the value and i'm getting output of that so guys this way you can uh, create so guys this way you can run your flutter application on windows machine i have already created videos related to how to uh, install and run flutter on web and how to install and run flutter on android uh, or um, your avd and in this video i have shown you how to run your a uh, flutter application on windows machine so that's all guys i conclude my video i hope by watching my video you are really able to run your flutter application on windows machine so guys if my videos are really helping you don't forget to hit on like button if you have any query you can put in comment box or you can send me on my ig also guys all my social media link i have given in description box you can join or follow me there also i have my website also csgornasunitarai.com i am posting lots of stuff on website also so you can certainly visit and guys share my videos to your friend and very important for me is your subscription for creating such kind of video it require lots of effort and lots of research so guys don't forget to hit so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys